Hey Ryan, I found something that might have been helpful to us if we found it before the 13th floor. Oh? It's a fucking map. Oh man, yeah. Wow, that's pretty elaborate. Ah, this is another type of thing that kind of reminds me of, uh, this, the, of, uh, Final Fantasy. Ten, specifically. There was, there was no, not, not the, that there was a map specifically that looked like that, but yeah. some of the, uh, what's it called, the temples that you were in, when you were traveling between nodes on, like, those floaty things, the, the way they were connected in the cores and stuff kind of had a very simple yeah. layout. It, anyway. Alright, also, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause real quick. Uh, you keep everything running, but I think I uh, need to fix something. And Wait, we're back. Basically, have to lock on and um, lock on and uh, and then turn your camera with it Free. and try to keep it on them. Because like there's a um, it it, remi it looks like it reminds me of again I'm not playing so right I can't actually say that for sure. Um, it looks like it reminds me of uh, the takedowns in Batman when you can chain them together. Not the stealth takedowns, the way it would work, it was like it would give you a slowdown very briefly. This doesn't have the slowdown, and then you, it would give you a second. But if you didn't turn the camera quick enough and hit the button, you would only get one takedown right? instead of being able to chain to do. More. Yeah, uh, we're back, everybody. Chain, huh? Uh, anyway, Ryan was uh, looking at <laughs> we almost ha should be using Sonic Blade only just just for the gimmick of the game. So that, I, I think that also if I'm trying to hit a target that I think is, if you miss the first attack, too, it's over. Yeah, but he also just went off in a random fucking idiot direction like, yeah, that yeah, I wasn't just, just, looking at, so... It, it was almost like you are playing an EA NHL game right a second there. It was just, no, oops, what? Why did the puck do that? Okay. Yeah. Um... Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'll keep looking. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Um, but I, I, we wanted to look up some information on the, uh, as we were just discussing the um, Sonic Blade Slight. Um, but uh, like, it's specifically, how do you make it chain and activate? Um, but we were not able to find it. I'm not able to find much on the forum, so I'm gonna check the wiki for the game specifically. Man, the internet sucks. <laughs> I'm not even saying that like in like I'm having a hard time searching anything. I just mean there was uh I hate going into a website now on anything that isn't a desktop because it just instantly you get prompted with shit. Yeah. Tell me to continue. Tell me you accept. Why do you have ad block? Like get go away. Yeah. Fuck off. Why? Why do you think Jesus, I have ad block? You, you know what these people need to do? Watch Idiocracy because we will absolutely switch to the darknet before we get to the levels of just prompting you and some of this stuff isn't even ads but it's just like stop making me click on things i'm coming to your website for information that is literally it if, if you do other stuff that's good cool awesome 100 percent. and i am more likely to check that out if you value the fact that i'm initially coming to your website for information which is what you're supposed to be presenting me with anyway would you like to whitelist us no i'm no, i don't the, go to your website it, because this I'm is a card game article. it just tells me the level and um, and how much card value we need, you know, the, basically the oh, stats. Oh, the stuff that's already in the game? You. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. It won't tell you how to use it. Cody Garbrandt loves that. Use it! It's a joke from one of the... Cody Garbrandt's a UFC fighter. He used to be the bantamweight champion of the world. Uh, he won his title by dancing and knocking out Dominic Cruz, who's one of the hardest to hit, hardest to fight uh, fighters in the UFC. Um, and uh, he would then... then went against a, a guy named TJ Dillashaw, who I believe is one of Chris's favorite fighters. And, uh, they did an Ultimate Fighter, if you're not familiar with that. I am familiar with like, that. Yeah. Okay, and they have two coaches, and so it was those two as coaches, and there was some bad blood between them because they both... Uh, Cody Garbrandt's still in uh, uh, the gym of Team Alpha Male, which is run by uh, one of my old favorite fighters. He's in the Hall of Fame now, Uri Faber. And TJ Dillashaw used to be in it, but then when TJ Dillashaw got big, he... Uh, he took his own personal trainer or whatever that he had with him and he left Team Alpha Male. Like, they, the, Team Alpha Male described, they're bitter. They describe it as he like tried to, up, you know, I'm better than you, you guys suck, or, you know, something to that effect. Anyway, TJ Dills, or sorry, nice. TJ Dillster was a better coach than Cody Garbrandt. Because whenever Cody Garbrandt was a coach, you would see him sit there on the sidelines yelling at his coaches, use it, use it, you like, literally like six, seven times in a row. Stretches it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So it became a meme to Andrew and I because it was just like, oh my goodness, use it. 
Also, Cody Garbrandt's kind of funny. There was one episode in that uh, season of Ultimate Fighter where he got came to the house and got drunk, and every time the camera cut on to him, he's just like, hanging with your boys! And I'm like, oh no! I know you, Cody. I know many of you in Alberta. <laughs> I just want a blue one! That's and all I need, people, Ryan. And, and you're the reason we're not getting a blue one, Cody. You're the reason we can't have nice things. Fuck you, Cody. <laughs> not Cody Rhodes, though. No, of course. I love Cody Rhodes. Also, I shouldn't say that because Cody Garbrandt could come find me. Beat me up. He had he had beef with someone on the internet that said they were going to find him and fight him outside his gym. I remember seeing Twitter and YouTube stuff for that at one point. Don't People are stupid. Don't go fight. I don't. I, don't, I, I think it might have been a fighter though, like, but not like a. I think not UFC. I think like friends of a fighter or knew someone within a camp or something. You know I mean? Yes. Dumb stuff. Yeah. So I'm just looking through here and seeing if I can figure out. Oh, let's see if the IGN guide gives us anything. Don't worry. I'm gonna go to their website. Let's see if anything pops up when White, I go there. Would you like to whitelist us? 100%. I'm pretty sure with IGN. Um, oh, you know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. The only thing that comes up is at the top, so it's easy to ignore, and it's just if I want to install the app for the IGN mobile app. That's actually pretty and reasonable. That, you know what? That's pretty reasonable. Otherwise, I have a bolded H1, we call this. Uh, in, in, it's good for SEO. Uh, IGN developers clearly know this. Um, it, it, you always want a, a default style on any subpage that has an H1 header at the very top, and then regardless, of, then you can choose what you want to do underneath, right? But you'd usually start with an H2 for the, 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 the your content after that, and then any smaller content you can just put regular. And if you need any other headers at that point for sub, you want an H1, right? Otherwise, that's just sizes, by the way. Yeah, of course. Um, if you didn't know, I do, uh, sure. but you always want an H1 at the top of every subpage because that. Because not only then will Google SEO the page, that'll if, if that's the name of the page, like, like in this instance, it's slights, but then that's what Google will sub, will sub highlight. Anyway, I'll continue on. Yeah, this is the rules for them. I don't need that. Yeah, this is just the same information. Thanks, IGN. The same information that the game tells us. You let me down, Greg Miller. Press the A button for up to six additional attacks. Nope. <laughs> X button. I think this yeah, I think this is the. I did. I did specifically say rechain of memories. I oh, know you did, buddy. You did your best for me. Like everyone just wants to give. Yeah, everyone just wants to give advice on. Hey, build a deck. That no, we're we're trying to. How do we do it? The execution. You know what? This might not have been the best time to use that move. This is it. it seems like the key is to bounce them off the walls. Oh, I am supposed to hit the wall. Doing that. Yeah, you want to hit the wall because it bounces them, and then it, I guess a lot of times it allows the camera angle to stay on them or something. I don't know. I'm just looking at uh, GIFs of YouTube videos because, you know, I don't want to watch YouTube videos to get the information that should somewhere exist on this. Yeah. Oh, this guy gets recovered from the cool. Power. Power. <clears throat> That's my last name. That it? Very good, Ryan. Yep. I don't need deck building guides, everyone. I literally, you know, I did Google how to use did you stun use impact. Quotes, Ryan? Yes. So, how do you use Sonic Blade and Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories? <sighs> Let's try a different Google. You know what? I'm just going to Google Sonic Blade. I, I did Google. Yeah, I did. The problem is, is I Googled this before and I got basically the same results. I don't need to know when you learn it. I need to know how to do it. Effectively. No. This information. If it exists, it's, it's hours of Googling away. <laughs> Some sub important. forum and we'll somewhere. We'll be done the game before it comes up. It's deep. Just like this game, it's a little too dense. I guess. I guess. I guess the Kingdom Hearts guide. Can this be fucker recovers it. Fuck you, dude. Just as obtuse as the. I don't think I can actually kill this thing. It's. Yes, you can. Counter, it's recovering. I it's don't. Not. I don't have any cards for it, Ryan. Use your fucking eyes. Got, oh, here we yeah, go. You, you didn't just dump like three zeros just now. Those don't. 
I had five attack cards. Do you want to go over why that's not enough? But a zero counters anything. No, it... That's not... Yeah, it does. Uh, just... That's not... What? What am I not understanding? Just... Shush! <laughs> I don't have enough damage, so even if I counter the attack, then it doesn't matter. Well, it wouldn't I, heal I, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it, you might have run out of cards now, but yes. That's... No, you're... That's not how this works. Oh, what What the fuck? I just pulled out Reflect a new slide. Reflect Raid! Over. We just did a new slide. Also, Reflect I got a raid. two! I need a one! You killed him. What was I, what was I misunderstanding there? Like, So, I don't have enough salt. damage. It, it, he'd still get another recovery off while I was um, getting... I only had two that weren't zeros. Two attack cards left after using all my slides. In the time it takes to go through a three recovery, he would get another heal off. So, so this is so. Here, I think this is what this is then an instance where I'm not talking, I'm not telling you what to do in the moment. I'm just saying. You said you verbally said I have no cards to counter his heal. I wasn't saying currently counter his heal. You said I. You said you worded I. I have no way to beat him. I thought you were saying the way your deck is built, there's no way to beat this person. No, with, with and I was like, no, left. there is. You have zeros, uh, you, but you still had a zeros left, right? And I wasn't meaning like, like yeah, immediately. I was just meaning like in general, if you can reload, you 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 can zero counter his heal, right? I thought you were saying you don't under. Again, I was trying to explain that. You, I thought you forgot again. I thought you forgot that you the that uh, that zeros could counter his heal. No, that was. I didn't. I I wasn't trying to give you advice in the moment. I was just like uh, basically yeah because I'm googling at the same time I was yeah I was just saying hey you, you, there is a way to beat him obviously because you yeah. still have the zeros yeah I was doing your thing where I exaggerate yes and I was not realizing that hey let's let's go to supercheats.com and try the slight guide okay mate I, I might have found what we needed here let's see oh shit. God damn it. Nope. No. I don't need the information of ratings or how many attack cards it takes. <laughs> this article. That's good Good high heading, this article. August 23rd, 2018. Best to forget about Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy gets it. Uh... What what is this website? Betterworldbooks.com? Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories Abilities by Source. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. This the internet I, I there was a that was a green book with a flower on it. I, I think that I don't I listen, I'm not Googling this anymore. Yeah, that's fine. I, th I think my Googling of this is the fact that I cannot just find someone saying, Hey, you need to line it up to continue you know. Google, you failed me. You're asking it too much, Ryan. I'm asking it too much. I, I got. You know what? Maybe, maybe just like maybe, maybe what we don't understand is that once we beat this game, we're actually legally obligated to forget everything about it. You have to sign an, uh, an NDA. Guys. Because people have to come into this game knowing nothing, otherwise it ruins the experience. Yeah. <laughs> that was what ruined the experience. <laughs> yeah, that's from Square's perspective. We actually don't know that. When you beat the game, someone from Square Legal. Ding dong, hello. Yeah. What? How did you know? Uh, we have, we have, listen. We, They're going to delete our last out, play. Turns out that you're one, uh, you're our 700th user to beat Kingdom Hearts Reach Chain of Memories. Congratulations. Unfortunately, it's, the, the secrets of this game are very guarded, so. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you know this, but we stream this. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. We didn't think anyone would have bought an Elgato capture card. We didn't have any way to deal with this problem. But then we'll blow up, you'll see, and then secretly we'll find the underground community of pro players. And then go, we need esports, Kingdom Hearts, Rechain of Memories, get it live. And then we have bustling to bustling crowd because so few people actually understand it that seeing someone who understands it play the game is like seeing a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Uh, sorry. This game is making me go crazy. Yeah, a little bit. We're 18 minutes in this episode. We still don't have a blue card. 
Yeah. We need a blue card. If this were soccer, a we blue get one. It That's not enough. Because there's only yellows and reds. Yeah. Just Green, just getting yellow. a blue card's not good enough, Ryan. Sorry, I'm colorblind. Green, yellow, same thing. Pluto, what the I'm fuck? I'm not do normally you do? colorblind, but I forgot about it. It's in my chain of memories. Just like everything else that's going on in this game. That said, I like the anime plotline. I'm just, uh. You know what, Kyle? We were talking about this off stream. I, I th we are really looking forward to not just Kingdom Hearts 2, but. Being done the point, with this? The point when, with which, when we can consume some anime that Kingdom Hearts is in video form. Like, there's a few of them that we've talked about in this Yeah, the, I don't have to play? Just, like a two-hour movie. It's gonna be nice to just get, for pacing purposes, it'll be just nice to get an overload of anime. Yeah, and just sit down and just get to enjoy it. Can't fucking wait, man. Yes, yes. It'll be nice when Pajanime, you know, but I mean, to be fair, Final Fantasy was kind of the same way. A little bit of anime by our side, and then a little bit of combat. In my life. A little bit of grinding, yeah. All I need. Is Sid in an airship? Give it to me. That's not what I need. I have. We need a blue one. Let's look. At, listen, we're gonna be super leveled by this point. Let's, yeah, let's. You know what? We're gonna build the ultimate deck. Big deck plays. Hey, you're level 50. That's usually the end of level in most games. They really wanted to make you grind. I, yeah, I, 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 I keep forgetting that we don't get anything from the Lulu shops. Yeah. There's a chance we might too, though, because we didn't realize you could get into the Moogle shop until later in the game. And no, but it only gives much. you combat cards. Okay. They said that early enough on. Summons, yeah, summons, I oh, guess yes, combat, yeah, yeah. summons, magic, attack. Items and attack cards. I'm just <laughs> praying that I missed <laughs> one. Like, what kind of fucking garbage is this? All right, well, we'll go back and keep grinding cards. Uh, a blue card with the number one. Why do I need that? Who thought this was a good game decision? Listen, you need, you're, you're, because Sora's number one, and it, in order to be number one, in order to be the very best, you need a number one. <laughs> it go has to be blue yourself. because fuck Square Enix. Da -da -da. <laughs> uh, that's what... Yeah. The best part about this is we've intentionally signed up for a lot of Square games, knowing the problems with Square games. Yeah! Eat that, Sonic Blade, because we want to be like our boy Steve and act like Sonic. Gotta go fast! Yeah. Freeze. You gotta go strong. Freeze. 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 Deep freeze. freeze. Deep freeze. 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 You know, Sora, you're basically describing what's happened to this feature right now because we can't get a blue. Yeah, which nice. is ironic because because freaking the card we need is blue, which is also the cards the color of the cards you're using to cast the freeze. Yes. Maybe maybe that's what we don't understand. Maybe if you're casting fire on them, you get a maybe it's the inverse. You know, because it wouldn't. Maybe that's hey, a secret. Fuck maybe off! you know what, Kyle. Maybe that's a maybe that's a secret thing. There's actually hidden card weaknesses that summon other cards from combat if you need something that only the people who played hundred hours of this game and ha have de dedicated their life and also secretly have mental health problems. I don't mean to insult those people, but you have to be if you're that in. You have a OCD at the very least if you're that into this game. Can you um look up to see if there's any way for me to get specific cards to get through doors? Sure. I'm sure it'll be equally useful to your previous ones, but, you know. Kingdom... Well, you see, there's so many Kingdom Hearts games that I can't just Google. <laughs> uh, you know Specifically what? with things like Slights, I couldn't. Because, you know, Sonic Blade is in all the games, so Googling how does Sonic Blade work doesn't actually tell me, because I need to know how it works in this specific iteration. Because uh, <laughs> it's anime. <laughs> um, so Kingdom Hearts, Rechain of Memories. Alright, now we're looking for... How to get a blue one. I'm just going to Google that specifically. Because you need a blue one for that door, so I'm going to speculate. Blue. Dude! One. Card. Okay. Perfect. 
Game facts, where can I find a blue one map card in the Castle Oblivion? So now it's time to see if this oh, storm was Oh, so this good. has been a problem for I need people. a blue map card with the exact total to get through the key to the beginning door on the 13th floor of Castle Oblivion. This is exactly oh, what we're doing! That door was a total pain. There really isn't any trick to it, but I'd recommend opening at Moments Reprieve Room somewhere in the middle and teaming Darkness Rooms on either side and going through all the Heartless, which is what we're doing. The best thing you can do is keep fighting Heartless and hope you get a blue one card, and you might even level up fighting because it might take a while. You might be better off going to a lower floor of the castle, if I remember correctly. You're more likely to get lower numbered map cards on lower floors and higher numbered ones on higher floors. I think this is a part of the game you can't seem to go through because... Uh, sorry, I gotta... <clears throat> I think this is a part of the game you can't seem to go through because the game cho chose the card you don't have because you really have to level up in the game before fighting the final boss. But I could be wrong, it's just an opinion. Fucking boo Bobby write that? Yeah, I was um, gonna say. Ha <laughs> uh, fuck. Fuck! I forgot the card you need is one at and below. And by the way, I say if you got a card one or zero, never use it and wait to use it here. That's a good man, I'm glad we know this now. That's my opinion, if but if not good damn luck finding the bitch. Oh okay. Kyle? Yeah. You need to grind. Yeah. Kyle Square designed this. Kyle, all those comments could have been deleted, and one person could have said Square designed this game, and then period. Okay, and I'm fucking gonna stab stuff. this thing in the fucking face. I'll fucking end you. Fuck off with your lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pepper. Pepper, can you hear him yelling? Is that what's happening? No, you can't. You just sense it. Pepper senses that you're in danger. She's like our Pluto. It has nothing to do with her wanting lunch. Hey, Pepper, I don't care if you starve! <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Goofy would not be pleased. GORSH! <laughs> Sorry, you're not Riku. Get turn, turn back from your emo ways. What you should be saying is, Oh, man, butterflies sometimes are really annoying. The not, the, na the, the natural case. I died! Because I got... You know what? Fuck me! <laughs> but yeah, no, no, that makes perfect sense! It's okay. I believe we have a continue. We'll be fine. Don't worry, because this is all random, we don't lose any progress. We only lose our levels up, which don't matter because we want to be done with this game quicker than uh, I'm fucking... also pretty sure we don't lose any of that. Oh, okay. The only good part about this game. Automatic checkpoints. This you know what, Kyle? Sucks. I'm going to let you carry here while I go feed the dog. Please do. You dog, know what? You're you not missing what? anything. I'm not missing anything. You're going to get the blue one at some point, and uh, yeah. Right now you got the blue balls from a game perspective. So it's like, Jesus, I haven't even had puberty yet. Give it to me already. Who thought that was a good game design decision? Make you fucking random grind your way through this thing. You just gotta sit there and just do this over and over until I find a fucking blue one. I'm so... You guys get this, right? Like, there's nothing fun about just having to just deal with it. I don't feel like I'm playing a video game. I feel like I'm doing a fucking chore right now. You know? And yeah, I definitely was overusing my slides, and that's why I got fucked on that the other thing, because... I've got magic, and those things seem to be imper- some of them seem to be impervious to magic. Which sucks, but that's life, I guess. I just... <sighs> Give it to me! God damn it, it's a blue! Three! I don't need a three! I need a one! I don't need a Bambi, I need a blue one! Why have you forsaken me, God? Is it because I don't believe in you? Because that's a pretty good reason, actually. The fuck was that throw, Sora? You're never going to be a starting pitcher. You're never going to make the team. Fuck! Uh. There we go. That's what I need. Oh. This is it. I just 
just want a blue fucking one. Game trolled me, Ryan. It gave me a blue three. Can you fucking grind, 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 grind? Like, I'm not just crazy. That's a fucking bad game design decision, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I just. It's random. You'll get it when we fucking give it to you. And it's not. I get it when they do that stuff with, like, optional shit, right? Like, really low percentage drops for an item you might want. I don't have a fucking choice. I can't just say. Also, I can't just say fuck the it. people who would say, well. Maybe you just needed to save your ones. There was no way for us to know that yeah. in advance. The fact yeah, that, that someone would've. said that in a forum is exactly what I'm talking about. There are people like that who for some reason think that this design concept is good. They like the, the trial and error. Good for them. <laughs> Make them a cake. I don't give a shit. We don't. I like the ability to, to be able to see in, in advance, when, especially when it comes to strategy and deck building, right? And like, st th and, and that world concept, or the, the world called card... Um, mm -mm. Sorry. The word world card concept. There's a little bit of strategy and element to there. But it's, it's just such a half-baked system, right? If there was... Other than the Moogle cards, which you noticed, it, which eventually we knew to save, which I understood, right? The game should have been communicating to us what each card it means to go through each door, to summon each thing, right? Yeah. And then it, it, you could have then been planning... You're, like I, I could have even seen them go in another layer and just say, now you need to build a deck that gets you through the right doors. You know what I mean? But but we're going to tell you what all that is before you go into a world, right? So then you need to take a look at your world cards and see what you're, what's going on. But if you're going to do something like that, then in a Moogle shop, you have an ability to either buy packs or cards of room cards in, 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 as well as the cards that we can already buy, right? And then it's a whole system. And then, and then we could have said, hmm, we, before we went into Castle Oblivion, oh, look, the end door, we need a 99 and a 1, right? If, like, again, if they give us this information up front, but they give us to us after we grind all the way through and get to the door and then realize we don't have it, right? Yeah, like, that's just, just that's fun. just bad. But again, though, these people who like this stuff like, like the, I will, you have to fail first. No, I fucking don't. I'm doing a show for people. <laughs> don't get me wrong. There are moments where that fuck you game design can make sense. I think, like, for example, in something like a Dark Souls, which I have often compared Kingdom Hearts to before. Um, obviously, the key concept of this isn't. But there are also moments of this that are, they try to do similar teaching methods, which is just, we're going to make you fail. The problem is, is that... Dark Souls will be like, we're going to make you fail, and then you die and get right back, and it takes two seconds to get where you were before. In this, we're going to make you fail, but we're not going to give you a timer on when you're going to need to get back into the game. You just grind until you get lucky. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> like, no, what is this, a joke? Yes. Joke's on them, because I'm enjoying a trad British cheese scone. Are you familiar with stones? Yes. This one was baked locally, and it has, uh, like, real cheese baked inside of it. So when you heat it's it up... It's red! I don't need a fucking red card! Okay, well, actually, just give me another Perfect. red three, which makes me go be able to go through that other door now? The reward door? No. No, there was a door oh, forward, because I'm pretty sure that getting through this first door doesn't do dick for us. Like, I think there's another oh. one afterwards. <laughs> But I'm going to double check to make sure I have... Yeah, so I need two red threes. I need to make sure I have... Did you I guys do. hear me freak okay. out when, when Pepper slid? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh. She gets excited when she goes up the stairs sometimes. So as she gets one foot up, sometimes she doesn't... <laughs> doesn't go understand well. ...understand how floor works, and she slid right across and just almost <laughs> fell off. She does it all the time. It's the only area of the basement that's not carpet. It's just it's like one little. Well, I guess my my room is. Yeah. Ah, I got a carpet down though, but not a whole one. But you know, yeah, I enough of one of them. Yeah. Like. Oh, this this and the worst part, this combat's not even fun. Nope. Although you've mastered it by this point. 
I was about to... You've mastered the slight system, yeah. anyway. Cut back to the point where I got killed by that random enemy because I overused slights. Yeah, but... Yeah. But I mean, like, you understand how to do the slights and how to... You got combos and... Yeah. For, for fighting the bosses when it matters, not this, uh, you're frustrated because you've been grinding forever. Yeah. Final. We are. Dora! Wait, we don't really want them to back off, Sora. Although, if you can interrogate them for a blue fucking card. Blue one! Deep freeze. Oh. Yeah, it sucks because you get these guys because freeze is tough to use on against all the flying enemies. Freeze is fine, so that some of them feel. Yeah, hang on, let me just take an hour to get through that lightning storm. Because that's fun. Three seconds. I mean, it does stop on you for a period. Yes! It's just annoying. It's over. It's over. It's not, the, it's not even close to over, Ryan. Oh! God damn it! Blue zero. We got a blue three, blue zero. Now we are going to get a blue two, and then we're going to get a blue one. We're never going to get a blue one. Yeah, we will. You'll be level 75 by the time that happens, but... You know what? I'm going to call this episode here, Ryan. Next time... Next time on level 75. Yeah, we finally get there. See you guys then.